Hi Amy, this is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm just going to briefly go over some things um, for you guys to let you know if you build a website, what kind of stuff you want to have in there, and how um, having that website is going to help you guys outrank your top competitors in your area and start bringing more business into you. Um, so I see right here you guys have a GMB already created. Um, it's not entirely filled out. Obviously we're missing the website here. Um, and, but when you click into these pictures, what's great is to have about 25 pictures on here. Um, and make sure you rename these pictures as buyer intent keywords before you upload them. Okay. Cause Google's going to read those and it's going to help you rank higher for it as well. Coming down, you guys have some good reviews. You've got about 18 reviews for Google. That's great. You can increase those too. Just make sure you guys are asking for your clients to leave you some reviews once you finish up work for them and help again, kind of just boost you guys up there, start bringing more business to you. Now here I've got Mr. Sparky. I'm going to quickly audit their website and just kind of let you know what kind of stuff they've got going on, what they're doing right, what you can keep in mind if you build your own website. So up here at the top, we've got all of our tabs. They've got detailed service pages. That's all great. They've got their contact number readily available up here at the top. They've got reviews. Awesome. And they've got a call to action right now. Book online. Get in touch with us. Contactless service just right here up at the top. Again, they've got more reviews as we scroll further down. They have specials that they have going. Um, they've got some questions as well. And here they've got more details on the services that they offer and you really want those right on the home page too as well as these detailed service pages so if they wanted more information they can click on this and it's going to take them to that service page and it's going to give them a more in-depth explanation of what exactly is provided with that service looks like they've got some different blog post articles here that's always great to have where they're located a little bit about them and then as we come down just what to expect that's all nice and then down here they've got their contact information again and then their service areas you can also do different service pages for all of these service areas and that's going to help you rank even higher for those as well and then coming down at the bottom they've got all these different ways that their clients can connect with them it's really great stuff now what Google really cares about is the content on this home page and they want to see you sit in between a 1500 to 2000 word mark so what I use to check that is what's called wordcounter.net this is a free tool and as we can see these guys are sitting at about eight 1800 words um, on this home page and that's exactly where you want to be sitting at this is a perfect number to be at and so you want to be higher than them at this point when you build your home page and on top of that um, content that quality content they really want to see buyer intent keywords sprinkled throughout that content so as you can see here one of those keywords is going to be electrician houston this is something that your clients would type into google to find someone because they need an electrician as you can see there's 24 matches for electri electrician houston on this home page that's exactly what you want to see now the next thing that we're going to touch on just really quickly is backlinks so google's like a popularity contest it wants to see other websites um, vouching for you so a backlink is just a shout out from another website and so this is the tool that I use to check backlinks it's called Arifs it is a paid tool you don't have to use it there are plenty of other free tools out there so really quick we'll take a look at this UR and DR rating now the UR is your trust rating with Google the DR is your power rating with Google we really want these numbers to be pretty close um, the fact that these aren't kind of lets us know that maybe some of these backlinks that they have aren't as relevant to them because not all backlinks are created equal um, but what you can do is click into these referring domains this is where all those backlinks are coming from all the websites that are giving them a shout out and you just work through this list get yourself added to those exact same ones um, because if they're helping them rank they're going to help you rank as well and that's simply done with um, either registering an account emailing the account owner um, sometimes you pay a monthly fee, but it's worth it because it starts to increase your organic traffic. So this is 1.2 thousand people, sorry, 1,200 people per month that are looking at their website. And this is bringing in real um, money for them. And so when we talk about ranking organically, that means they're going to start to rank right down here. And this is where you want to be in this number one, two, or three spot. 
And then the last thing we'll touch on, which you guys probably know a little bit about with your um, GMB already up, is this area right here, the local map pack or Google My Business. And so you guys rank here with that GMB that you set up. You want to have it filled out all the way. So you want to make sure you get a website built and get that added in there. Boost the amount of photos you have. Boost the amount of reviews that you have. You can add some content in there. And then um, what really gets you ranking right up here is having your citation in as many directories as you can. And so your citation is just your business's name, address, and phone number. And the directories include things like Facebook, Yelp, Angie's List, Home Advisor, um, Yellow Pages, things like that. So what I would do if I was in your shoes is I would find out all the directories that these top competitors are listed in, get myself added to those exact same ones, and then I would go above and beyond that. And if they're in 150, I'm going to get myself added into 250, maybe even 300 directories and really blow them out of the water. All right, Amy, that's all I've got for you. I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.